One of the main reasons that physics made so much progress in the 20th century yes. is that the framework in which physicists were working is highly constraining. So, for example, when the part of the standard model that describes the weak interactions was discovered by uh, Weinberg, Lasha, and Salam, they actually had extremely meager experimental clues. But they were able to get a long way with very meager experimental clues because they tried to fit it into the framework of relativistic field theory. Yes, yes. And that framework is extremely restrictive. So the framework of relativistic quantum field theory was a kind of force multiplier, and they were able to find the right theory with what would seem like ludicrously limited experimental clues. So it's a very rich framework, and part of the richness is that it's almost impossible to change it in any way without getting into some kind of contradiction. Yes. Rather immediate contradictions. Uh, I think that this is one of the most important observations about 20th century physics, and something that very few people outside the field appreciate. It's extremely hard to appreciate it, I think. Unless you've really learned quantum field theory, it would be virtually impossible to understand what I mean in saying that it's a very restrictive framework. It's very hard to change it. And its power is one of the main reasons that the standard model was discovered based on limited experimental data. Right. Now, precisely because it's virtually impossible to tamper with the standard, with the standard framework of relativistic quantum field theory without getting into contradictions, one has to take extremely seriously any way of tampering with it that does present itself. Yes. And the only interesting modification of relativistic quantum field theory that's been discovered that makes any sense is string theory. And that alone would make it extremely exciting to study. But the fact that it forces gravity upon us, yes. while in the standard framework we can't really have quantum gravity, apparently, this isn't to save it with the precision of the mathematical theorem, um, well, makes it extremely compelling to study. And then plus the fact that in studying it, one has uncovered so many surprises, both where one gets a better understanding of existing physical theories, and sometimes new insights in pure math have popped out. Right. So I think there's something very deep there, and it's very exciting to try to understand it better.